the Montreal Jazz Festival has opted to cancel remaining performances of a controversial play about slavery that features a primarily white cast singing African-American slave songs. The festival has also apologized after the show in question, titled Slav, prompted widespread outrage, including an open letter expressing astonishment and disgust. We would like to apologize to those who were hurt, the world's largest jazz festival said in a statement posted to social media, we made the decision with the artist Betty Bonefassi to cancel all performances of the show at the festival. The music theater show had been described as a tribute to music as a tool for resilience and emancipation. But its use of slave songs from the American South, despite having a white director, white, singers and primarily white cast, provoked a flood of protest. We are alarmed by the dismissal and silencing of black voices in the creation, development, staging, and promotion of the show's love, stated the open letter which was eventually signed by more than 1,000 people, including local musicians, artists and academics. The letter added, These slave songs were born out of the myriad types of violence established, perpetrated, and maintained by a white power structure. To now have that violence exploited for profit by white artists and producers both embodies and perpetuates the historical exploitation and marginalization of black populations in Quebec and the world over. Last week, about 100 protesters gathered on the street in Montreal, with speakers blasting Slav as a blatant act of neo-colonialism and demonstrators chanting slogans like Shut It Down! And Shame! See all of! The best photos of the week in these slideshows The controversy intensified on Tuesday when the American musician Moses Sumney cancelled his scheduled performance at the festival. When I learned that the festival continued to defend this show publicly, even after adamant protests, during which one of the showgoers, the majority of which were, of course, white, slapped a woman of color protesting the show. I knew that I could not present my music at this same festival in good conscience, Sumney said in a statement. Especially on a day sandwiched between Canada Day and Independence Day, two bittersweet holidays that have long left black, brown, and indigenous voices out. The festival initially defended the show against what it called trial by public opinion before reversing its position. Those who bought tickets will be able to obtain refunds, the festival adds in its latest statement. Half, since the beginning of Slav performances, the festival team has been shaken and strongly affected by all comments received, we would like to apologize to those who were hurt. It was not our intention at all. Please read d.co weblink mtl jazz festival at mtl jazz festival july 4 2018 two halves we made the decision with the artist betty bone fassi to cancel all performances of slav at the festival please read d.co weblink mtl jazz festival at mtl jazz festival july 4 2018 moses sumney performs during the coachella music and arts festival in indio california April 13, 2018 Some need dropped out of the Montreal Jazz Festival over controversial place love, Kyle Grilla TFP slash Getty Images.